How did you get into music? Like, was it from a young age, or were you a teenager thinking, you know what, I could do some good with this? Yeah, so uh, so when I was five years old, I grew up in a military family, and uh, my dad was a pilot in the Air Force, and um, so he was kind of a military dad, and he, uh, he you know, kind of like, kind of just forced me and my older brother to take piano lessons when, when we were really young, and um, he probably thought, he probably read somewhere that it makes you more, your kid more successful or something like that if they <laughs> take piano lessons. So, uh, so anyway, yeah, so I took piano lessons at a young age, and um, I mean, I absolutely hated it, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> and then, uh, and then after that, I, I played for a couple amount of years, and then he said that I could pick any instrument I wanted um, if I paid for it, and so... I delivered magazines around the base until I had enough money raised to buy a drum set, and then I started playing drums, and and then I started uh, started traveling when I was sixteen. Playing, I just fell in love with traveling and playing music, and played drums for people, and then I kind of taught myself guitar, and then um, circled back around the piano and wanted to kind of be the the front man and write songs and play them, and so and so yeah, man, I've kind of been doing it my whole life. So, so you actually write songs too? You just said right. Yeah, I do. So, uh, songwriting to me, especially, you know, in country music, songwriting is, is, is king. And, and I, and I think it's my favorite part about making music. And, um, it's been cool, man. I, I got to write the songs on my record. And then, um, I'm also starting to get some, some songs that I've written and recorded by other artists right now, which is, uh, which is such an honor to, uh, to be able to do that for another artist. So, yeah, man. Dude, honestly, man, I feel like the best way to do it to come up with, and it sounds kind of like, I guess, like a cheap way to do it, but I think the best way is just to live life. And then, you know, I have like a note thing on my phone where anytime somebody says something, and like I can't turn it off. I'm always thinking about it. Sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night with a song idea, and I have to just go write it in my phone right then. And I'll just like write the idea in this note. And so I have this this note in my phone that's like super, super long with just a ridiculous amount of ideas. So. Well, wonderful. So what are some of your favorite songs that you like performing live, like uh, if you do any covers or some of your original music? Yeah, man. So, uh, I mean, obviously I love I love playing my, my, my last single I had out, Woke Up in Nashville, just because that's the one that people kind of know and that most of my fans know. And it's, I mean, dude, it's the best feeling in the world when people are singing your song back to you, you know? And, yeah, right. Um, so that, that one's fun to play. And then we're actually uh, we're gonna we're gonna start playing this new medley actually at the the show the medley I I've got to go on tour with some awesome people this year um, I'm out with Little Big Town right now but I also got a tour with uh with Ford Georgia Line and and Tim and Faith for a little bit and Luke Bryan and and Billy Currington and so I I thought it'd be a cool idea to kind of put together a little medley of uh, honoring all the people that let me come on tour with them this year so it'll be pretty fun to play next next weekend. Well, beautiful. We can't wait to hear you perform up here at MVCC in Utica, and we have all the details, of course, on Seth's show at BigFrog104.com. So, Seth, we appreciate your time. Absolutely, man. I can't wait to see you guys all at the show. It's going to be a great time.